Pokemon TCG Elite 4. Oh, TCG Elite 4. Is it ever going to happen? Before we start, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, leave a come below. Think about this Pokey video. With that being said, it's time to battle. What if there was a tournament called the Pokemon TCG Training Card Game League? The Champion League itself is almost like saying that there's Elite Four there. Because for each game we play, we have battled these guys known as the Elite Four. Battled them. Battled their champions. I mean, wouldn't it be crazy if we were to battle the Elite Four in TCG? Now you're thinking, what? Are you serious? No, 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 no. No. No, never. No, no. <laughs> I'm definitely dead serious. Because one, it'd be like a true champion battle. No lie, no cap. An Elite Four Pokemon TG style would be saying <sighs> How long would it take for this battle to be, you know? Cause one, challenging Elite Four and his champion is one thing. But battling with your with your number one partner is another. Especially in TCG. There's the possibilities. The possibilities of who you want to challenge. One, you need to build a team. <laughs> but not just any team. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a team that represents you. Cause you gonna need it based on what type of elite fourth member you gonna challenge. Whether it's fighting, ghost, ice, or dragon, steel, <laughs> fire, dark, ghost. Even a dragon. Whew. I dab my head. Yeah, I need to take five. I need to take five. I need to take five. Cause the possibility. No, listen. The possibilities of of them doing this will be saying that as soon as you beat the Elite Four and become champion, your team went into some place. That makes your whole team stay immortal. As you be remembered. As the guy who conquered. The elite four. And his champion. <laughs> Cause one. Battling champions. Is, is truly your goal. Forget the elite four. Your reason is the champion. Are you hearing me on this? Are you getting me on this? Because as soon as you become champion, there's only one place. Again, one place you got to enter. And that, my friend, is the Hall of Fame. Let you know this is the edge I was talking about in my last video, so <laughs> check it out. Cause see, at that time, you could get two things in Pokemon TCG. While battling a gym leader, 
in Pokemon TCG at that time. Doing the uh, original training card game lead, you get a badge and you get a TM. Now you're like, bro, really? Yeah. Because with badges, as you can see, count as points. Not you have to travel all throughout the world and you know trying to know get 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 those points. Run up your money, run up your gas. That means guess what? You're not you you're not spending your life well. Because by the time you do all that Excuse me. Sorry. By the time you do all that, you will make it to the world championships and it's finals, doing the greatest battle you ever did in your life. Are you feeling me on this? <laughs> because by the time you know you went to the world championships, you'll be a champion before the day is over. Are you getting me on this? Are you hearing me on this? Are you feeling me on this? Because trust me, there's nothing more better to knowing that. What can I say? You, you, you can't call yourself a truly a champion unless you challenge this tournament here. The Pokemon Card Game Champions League. Because the Champions League is like the uh, stadium, right? You won't fight the Grand Master. You won't fight a True Blue Elite Four. So I had, I had to ponder there for a moment. Because let me say this. If you have four TCG trainers. Who battle with certain types of Pokemon in their decks. Doesn't that make them like the elite for themselves? Because what you're doing, you're not battling just any type of TCG trainers. You're battling Elite Four. You heard me right. Elite Four. A TCG trainer is a person... Who doesn't, you know, challenge? Any trainer. They want to challenge the best. Like, say, for this, hmm, how can I put it? This Champions League. You want to battle elite four member. Like I said earlier, like the ice trainers. Like the ice trainer, Lordy, of the elite four. Because one, paralysis and sleepiness. Whew. Or, or, a, a, a fighting type deck like a Bruno. I mean, there's our fighting types that have, you know, skills and abilities. Or you could build yourself a ghost psychic deck that based on ghosts, just like Agatha. I mean, think about it. Who can you truly battle? Mm hmm. That doesn't have the power and skills of the Elite Four. Or 
being like the dragon master himself, Lance, leader of the elite four. Because once you battle them, you're ready to battle their champion. Yeah. Come on now, what's the whole point? A champion must defend their title, right? And who you challenge first before you did that, you leave for? Because either you get a medal or a promo card, either way, it states that you are a champion. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Oh, I'll be immortalized. Right? <laughs> strange though, very strange. Why? I like that, you know what I'm saying? I like saying we stink. Every moment stinks. Because being a champion of a Champions League and not call a Pokemon master? <laughs> that just messed up. Because, see, it's not just you being holding a trophy, no. It's you and your deck getting immortalized to the Hall of Fame. That means for the evolution, for what Pokemon you use, what style you have, all your cards just lay down and just say, hey, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Because that's what a true blue Pokemon TCG trainer journey is. To reach to the very top, the pinnacle of the Pokemon TCG world. Fascinating. So with that being said, I'm your boy, Pokemon. <laughs> Check out my other video that was based on TCG. Where I'll talk about the attacks of V, GX, and EX. Have the same categories as the games and series themselves. Because trust me. I'm not shot on detailization. <laughs>